dickweeds. Blessed be the bandit! Holy hellstorm will patrol! The Holy Broadcast Center has a little something for everyone. Shooting, looting, indoctrination, pretty much everything that you would want. And a few things that you absolutely didn't. I was still leaning heavy into my Hyperion shotgun because I like making things fly up in the air. And hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Then I got in fight for your life mode again. At which point I started to wonder if it was broke, and if I should fix it. So I decided to switch things up a little bit, and break out the submachine gun. The screen chugged a little bit when I got into the menus, but I realized that I still had a skill point because I had just leveled up. Now that I've finally put five skill points into Demolition Woman, I can access the next branch of that skill tree. Soon into entering the broadcast center, I was greeted with an altar featuring skulls and candles, a surefire sign that everything is gonna be fine. I was mistaken. My failsafe here is to always jump into my giant mech if my health is deteriorating quickly. And so, I did. At which point Iron Bear made short work of the fanatics. I only wish this tactic worked better on Mouthpiece, as he seemed to be immune to a lot of the damage that I was doling out. Besides being a generally top-tier hype man, Mouthpiece's big shtick is that he has these giant subwoofers around the side of his arena that will blast sound waves at you. And they will do an inordinate amount of damage if you get too close to them, when they're about to go off. Luckily, the small enemies around the arena got me out of Fight for Your Life mode on more than a couple occasions. And that's good because I kept getting into Fight for Your Life mode. Eventually, my timer was just so fast that I couldn't get a good shot off. And so I respawned. If memory serves, this was the first instance where that had happened. $733 later, I went back to Mouthpiece to see if I could get a refund. As you can imagine, that did not go particularly well. He said he would write me an IOU, but I know him better than that. All talk, no walk. The real key to this battle seemed to be avoiding the speaker blasts. Once I figured that out, I tried to get as many criticals as I possibly could on him, and eventually, he went down. He would never give me my money back, but at least he got me to level 8. And he did drop some cash and weapons for my trouble. What will happen at level 8? Well, we're about to get a little virtual. Yoink! <laughs> 